All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Hamilton. Um, I'm sort of an engineer and sort of a designer. And for some reason, Real Data hired me. Um, I've been um, helping them build out a new type of dashboard um, that has kind of different ergonomics than most dashboards that you've used today. It's highly opinionated, powered by DuckDB. It used to be powered by Druid, but I helped uh, build the team that pivoted us toward DuckDB and also this new design. And um, the core premise of RIL is that uh, instead of designing the dashboard, uh, you actually design your data model, your measures, and your dimensions, and then we provide a set of really powerful tools on top of that. So today, I want to talk about not the dashboard, which I think is really cool, but Real Developer, which is the SQL IDE we built that our users use to build these types of dashboards. And obviously, we use DuckDB for that. Also, by the way, Josh totally scooped me on the mid-journey stuff. Uh, <laughs> I spent a lot of time trying to compare like Dutch Renaissance painters with ducks. <laughs> and it worked out pretty well still, I think. Um, so OK, but back to Real Developer. Um, it's a SQL GUI, um, and obviously DuckDB is a great choice for SQL because the ergonomics are fantastic. Um, it's embeddable, can go, kind of go anywhere, um, and it works natively with data lakes, which are all really nice properties. Uh, but the one feature that everyone knows about and cares about, and it's the first thing they experience, is it's fast, like really, really fast. And I think it's often mentioned that it's fast, but I actually just became obsessed with its speed, actually. I think that's actually the coolest part of it. Um, and I think we've all had this experience the first time you run a query in DuckDB, the result set returns faster than you can even respond. And so contrast that with a tool and technology like BigQuery, which is an incredibly well-engineered, amazing tool, and the interface is really well designed. But the interface of BigQuery is, from a user experience perspective, kind of designed to help you wait. Uh, queries can take seconds, they can take minutes, and that's no fault of BigQuery. And it's kind of hard to compare DuckDB to BigQuery for lots of reasons. But from the user's perspective, that's what it feels like. It's about waiting, right? There's spinners, there's, there's pro progress bars, things like that. DuckDB doesn't have uh, those types of limitations. Um, in fact, I think when queries can return in the hundreds of milliseconds range, whole new classes of interactions are actually possible in these tools. Your workflows change, um, how you think about the work itself also changes. And maybe more concretely, we don't have to build a slow query interface for a fast database. So that was the first insight we had when we were starting to build Real Developer. And we thought, OK, can we get rid of this run button? Can it be that you just start typing and then result sets just kind of appear? And uh, from the user's perspective, can we make it so that queries feel like they're being inspected? When you like click on a shape or something in Figma, you can like see characteristics of it. So maybe it could feel like it's being inspected and not like you're actually running a query. So I kind of screwed up. I should have added a slide with all the tweets of people being like, this is cool, because I think it's helpful social proof. But we built that, and it's really, really cool. So you'll just have to take my word for it or go to our website and try it out yourself. Um, I found this to be really fun, but I didn't think it was enough. Um, I spent pretty much my whole career as a data scientist doing data analysis. I live in Jupyter Notebooks in the R console, um, and I really need a lot more EDA to understand whether or not my transformations even make sense. And so I built a feature into Real Developer that has been sort of like one of my dream features, which is this auto profiler. It's essentially um, our way of spending the user's attention budget on automatic exploratory data analysis. So a column profile is essentially um, sets of distributions and summary statistics that helps the user understand the structure and problems with their data. And as you can see, it's organized around four principles compactness. It has to like kind of like read like a grocery receipt um, because you don't have a lot of space, especially in the X direction. Easy scanning. It's really hard to actually identify problems in your data set unless you make it really easy to just almost pre-perceptually see what's going wrong. Um, we provide details on demand. So as you see on the right, if you click on one of the column profiles, it expands to something much richer. Um, and then finally, render. it's all rendered iteratively. So each one of those profiling queries for distributions or numbers, it actually streams back. It's, it, they're all DuckDB queries, and they stream back to the user into the browser, and then we update kind of as things are computing. And not only does it like look cool, but I think it helps the user because it's, the user can see the, the computer is actually doing something for it. It's not just a spinner. It's something else. So taking these two ideas, no run button profiling, and you get real developer. There's a SQL editor on the top, result sets on the bottom, profiles on the right, and um, it all just sort of works as you start typing, cool things happen. 
And I think a static image does not really do it justice. So I really suggest you go to realdata.com, follow the download instructions, super easy to track. So this all sounds like kind of peachy keen, but really it's just the start of the problems and solutions. There's actually a million other issues you have to solve here because profiling is expensive. It's expensive in the column space. The more columns you have, the more queries you have to run. DuckDB can split up execution for a single query across multiple threads, but all of the queries as they are right now in the system tend to run serially, which means they all have to be fast, which means we have to use tons of different approximation methods, both on the front end and the data visualization, but also just ones that don't really matter if it's slightly off because like users can't tell the difference. Um, we also have a bunch of other problems to solve in the browser as well. And we use uh, techniques like virtualization and aggressive caching. There's like a million problems I'm trying to solve here. And this is like the most naive version of it. So if you're interested, I will be at the mother duck. Oops, they took up my slide. I'll be at the mother duck uh, party afterward. Come find me and you could follow me on Hamilton Ulmer on Twitter. Thank you.